What is up everybody, my name is Gidra and today I'm going to be showing you how to play Demon Souls on the PC as well as other PS3 games. I noticed uh, there was a couple guys out there but they were kind of out of date because they've done some updates. So first thing you're going to want to do is go to rpcs3.net and then you're going to go to the download page. From here, you're going to download the latest build depending on if you're on Linux or Windows probably going to be Windows, then you're going to download that zip file. You're also going to need to go to pick up the latest system update for the PS3, which is available on Sony's official website, link in the description. So you're going to download that as well. The next thing you're going to want to do is create a new folder on your desktop or wherever you want and just name it like RPCS3 and you're going to open up the file you downloaded, the build using like when wa uh, RAR or whatever you want, and then you're just going to take the entire folder, and drag it into that folder you just created. Once everything's in the folder, you're actually going to just run RPC uh, S3, and then it's going to say like all this, you read the quick start guide, don't show this again, and then in order for this to actually work, we need to install the frameware for, because basically we're tricking your PC into thinking it's a PS3 using this extension. So you're going to go to file, you're going to go to install firmware, and then you're going to go to your downloads and find that PS3 update file. And then it's going to install, <clears throat> excuse me, and then successfully installed PS3 firmware and LLE modules. Don't show this again. Okay, so now that we have the firmware updated, we need to configure the client. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go into configuration and then start with the CPU tab. And you can pretty much leave everything as default. Um, there are some settings that you do want to change. So uh, PPU decoder is going to be recompiler. Uh, SPU decoder is going to be recompiler. Uh, preferred threads one, enable SPC loop detection. This is so that uh, it doesn't cause like stuttering with the audio um, in Demon Souls, etc. Firmware settings, load the library only. This close, uh, this basically makes it like as closely as possible to a PS3 when you're emulating, and it's just the the best because everything else just loads like unnecessary files. This loads only the things that a PS3 would need. Next, we're going to go to GPU, and this is going to vary from person to person. If you're on a really, really low-end system and you just want to play the game at like any quality, um, you're going to want to do OpenGL uh, Renderer because it's the most accurate. 16:9 aspect ratio. Um, keep everything else as is. This one uh, you're going to want to keep as automatic if you're running a low-end system. Default resolution always, no matter what, is going to be uh, 1280 by 720p, and I'll tell you why in a second. For Demon Souls to work properly, you need to uh, check the right color buffers and check GPU texture scaling because there's an issue with Demon Souls. Now, if you're running a really, really bad computer, you can set the resolution scale down to 50%. This is going to make the game look like a JPEG picture. It's going to look terrible, but it's going to be much better. You're going to get 30 frames per second. You'll be able to play it. If you're running a decent computer, you can leave it a hundred percent and then you can just kind of like buff this up to higher resolutions uh, as you go. But 100% is the default. That's 720p. Now, if you're running a really high system, there is a new renderer called Vulkan, which is going to be a much faster renderer, you're going to need a really good graphics card. I have a GeForce GTX 1080. That's one of uh, <clears throat> the best graphics cards on the market. Well, you know, at this month until next month. But anyways, so if you want like really high quality, if you want to get 4K quality, you're going to want to set it to Vulkan, your graphics card. You're going to set the filter up to 16X because it doesn't take a lot of resources and it makes the game look much better. Default resolution, you're still going to keep as a 1280, 720, because what we're going to do is we're going to scale the game up with the resolution scale. Okay, 
is 1920 by 1080p at 30 frames per second. By the way, the frames in Demon Souls are capped at 30 frames per second. Nothing you can do about that. Now, you can achieve 4K quality or 2K quality by going to 200%, that's going to be 2K quality. 300% is going to be 4K quality, and your game's just going to look amazing. So if you decide to run at 4K quality, you're going to need to lower the resolution scale down to 24 by 24. This is going to fix issues with Demon Souls because running at this resolution actually cuts off the menu and just makes it unplayable. This fixes the menu issues um, on the graphics and scaling without degrading the, the quality at all. So that's what you're going to want to set for that. And then everything else you're just going to leave like this and press save. Um, audio, you really don't need to mess with audio. Just If you're in doubt, just copy my settings. But uh, everything else, you're pretty much going to leave uh, as the same. So now you're going to need a copy of Demon's Souls. There's two ways you can get Demon's Souls. You can either have the physical PS3 copy of the disc and rip the files, put them into a folder, like uh, right here, just make a folder called Demon's Souls. Put the disk in your computer and rip the files directly into this folder and then you'll be able to continue. If you don't have the files, you're going to need to download them. I don't recommend downloading them. I don't advise downloading them unless you actually physically own a copy of the game or it is illegal. I am going to show you how to get the files online um, in the good faith that you do own a copy of Demon's Souls and you're you know, not breaking any laws. So there, there's my disclaimer, there's my warning. Um, now I'll show you the site where you can get Demon's Souls from. Okay, so this site right here, which is linked in the description, is the best site I found to actually get a copy of Demon's Souls. And now remember guys, I do actually physically own a copy of Demon's Souls, so it's not illegal to download it. If you don't own a physical copy of Demon's Souls, it is illegal to download, and I do not uh, recommend you do that. But anyways, what you're going to need to get is uh, the link, uh, the USA version part one and part two. You're gonna click that, go to the link download, and then you're going to download part one. Then the same exact thing for part two. These are the copies of the Demon Souls, the part one and part two. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to highlight both of these you're going to create a new folder on your desktop or wherever you saved your games called Demon Souls. And then you're going to right click these, press extract files, go to your desktop or wherever you just created this folder, click Demon Souls and then click OK. I'm not going to do this because I've already done it, but basically what this does is it merges these two parts into one single file. If you try to extract these individually, it's not going to work. So this is going to be the best way if you don't have the disk to get Demon Souls. Okay, so once you have the folder, it's going to look something like this when both of those are finished extracting. So now you need to get it to work with the emulator. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to File, boot game, you're going to find Demon Souls, you're going to go into the folder itself so that you see these two, game and update, but you're not actually going to go into them. You're going to select this folder when you see these two right here in the Demon Souls folder. And then it's going to load its thing, do everything, it's going to patch some stuff. And so after it's finished patching, it should just automatically start the game. So in order to actually play the game, you're going to need a PS4 or a PS3 controller, and you're going to have to hardwire it to your computer via USB. Then you're going to go to the configuration tab and go to the pads tab. You're going to find your controller, and then it should just be automatic actually. It's going to say controllers found one, you're gonna press okay. Now this might take out your audio because it's going to be running your audio through the PS4's headphone jack. So you might need earbuds to play. After that, uh, you load in the game. I'm going to use alt enter so that I can full screen it. And then you should be able to play. And then remember if the 
text boxes or the menus look weird, you need to set the scaling down to 24x24. And let's just get into the game here. And then there you go. Now you're able to play. Now, just a quick uh, disclaimer. You're not going to be able to play online, of course. If you choose your class as a soldier, I'm just going to, oh, let's name our guy. Uh, okay, so you, you have to name him with it windowed. You, you can actually, like, double click with your mouse on the window at any time to full screen it or uh, um, windowed mode. But you just uh, left click on the name. This is probably the only time you're going to need to do this. Um, and then you're going to press X on the PS4 controller and then you're going to name your guy. And then it should be good. So now if you start the game as a soldier, for whatever reason, uh, from the, em uh, like the emulation, there's an issue with the soldier's starting shield where it's actually just going to be invisible. I'm not sure if this is with all shields of this type, but this shield is uh, an invisible, like, I, I don't know, there's some issue with the soldier shield. So anyways, yeah, that's it. And then notice that I am playing on the 4K resolution. So what this does is it's playing at a 720p uh, resolution for the game resolution but what we've done is we've by scaling the resolution to 4k in game we've made it so that the textures even though it's displaying at 720p the in-game textures are displaying at a 4k resolution so they are the highest quality textures that the game is able to produce. The reason that these textures weren't in the final game was because they had to dumb down the graphics to adhere to the PlayStation 3's limitations at the time. But since I have a GTX 1080, really good graphics card, I'm able to play it at the original high quality textures that the game designers made. So this game is actually going to look better than it ever did on PS4 by playing it on PC in the 4K resolution. And as you can see, I'll just uh, left click to show you the tab. Uh, you see the frames per second here. Now again, this is on 4K. So I'm playing at a stable 30 frames per second while recording on a 4K uh, in-game graphics settings. That is just amazing. Let me get into combat here just to show you the FPS is gonna drop. And it's just great. So uh, if you have a really good computer, um, you're going to be able to enjoy the game like you never had on PS4. It's going to be like a remastered version with better graphics. Um, it's, it's, it's really cool. I myself am going to be doing a Let's Play of this. Uh, I'll put a link in the description if I ever get around to doing that. But uh, yeah, and then if you, again, if your game can't run it on these settings, you can dumb down the graphics using the open uh, GL and then setting the resolution even lower. But honestly, the 100% the scaling, let me just go into here so I can show you what I'm actually talking about. If you're running on really, really good computer, you're going to want these settings. If you're losing FPS, you can put it down to the 200% and it'll still be just as good. And then uh, this one, if you're running 200% or 100%, uh, you have it as 128. But if you want that really nice 4K, like the, the way the game developers wanted you to play it, um, I'm gonna wanna set this up to 300, anything else is overkill, and then 24 by 24. If you want like really high quality screenshots, you can max this out to 800, but that's a ridiculous resolution, and it will probably crash your computer if you try to play the game at that resolution, so I don't recommend that. Um, and again, uh, if you're running a low, uh, low, low, low computer, then you want automatic, um, but high computer, even a mid-range computer, honestly, you can bump this all the way to 16x. And again, it has descriptions. The the uh, emulator is really good about that. So it'll tell you like every what every single setting is down in the bottom right here. 
Um, lower end computer is going to use OpenGL and then high end computer is going to be using Vulkan and your graphics card. And remember in order for Demon Souls to work properly you need to check these two settings. If you don't check these two settings there's going to be an issue. You can limit frame rate but it's going to be at 30 frames per second and can't go above that anyways so there's really no issue. But yeah, I hope I helped you guys out. Um, I actually made this video for a coworker of mine. Hi, Danny. Thanks for watching, man. And I will see everybody in the next video. Have a good one.